<laughs> okay, 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 okay. I haven't planned this video at all, so bear with me. <laughs> Please bear with me. About half a year ago, I agreed to do a shared marathon with my family, which is where you do a marathon, but you don't do the whole marathon because I'm not like a gorilla. <laughs> um, we do like part of it each, and in total, it is one marathon. Last year, my mom had a heart attack. She wanted to raise money for a charity that deals with heart attack stuff, and I agreed, obviously, because that's what you do when someone has a heart attack. But I really didn't think about the fact that I have never run anything ever at all in my entire life, and this was probably a really bad idea. <laughs> So this weekend, shared between my dad, my uncle, my sister, and myself, we are running the Edinburgh Marathon to raise money for Chest Heart and Stroke Scotland. And that is for two reasons. One, my mum is Scottish, and two, because I refuse to raise money for any heart condition charities that test on animals. So Scotland, I got your back and your heart. I got your heart, mainly, not your back. I don't think Chest Heart and Stroke Scotland deal with backs, so I don't got your back. That'll be back, sack and crack Scotland. <laughs> No. If I'm vlogging it and I've got like a big camera, I have an excuse as to why I'm slow and useless at this run. Oh no, it's just the camera. I'm usually like, I'm usually so fast. Like, I'm usually like a lightning bolt. But this camera, you know... I made this mistake of getting this giant camera rig. <laughs> I am definitely not be going to be able to run with this. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this. This does not show you the size of the camera rig whatsoever. This is the same rig that Casey Neistat uses for his vlogs, except Casey Neistat is actually muscular. I... No, no. At least I have an excuse when I'm shit. Yay! So now, step one in this journey to Edinburgh, we have to go to Scotland. I'm in London. Let's go to Scotland. When I said let's go to Edinburgh, I had planned to use the video editing magic to show me just on the train magically as if nothing else had happened in between, but then I realised I haven't packed anything. I've just started packing and nothing is ready and oh my god, I'm going to miss my train! I have got... 40 minutes to get across to the other side of London. We made it. We're on time. I'm not going to miss a train. One. There we go. <laughs> you probably won't have been able to see it because there's so many real people there, but there are so many police here right now because of Manchester. I'm not gonna try and lie about it. I'm scared for doing this marathon because everywhere's scary, but the thing is you just gotta kinda carry on and just hope for the best and get on with life because otherwise you're never gonna enjoy it and you're just gonna live in fear all the time. Here we go, on the train. So I've been on the train about three or four hours now and I've just realized that I've packed for summer and I'm going to Scotland. <laughs> okay. Is it possible for trains to be hit by lightning? Parent! It is parent! Hello! Hello! Hello, ah. Hello gorgeous! Ah. Mother! It's a, it's a, hello. <laughs> I've been here four seconds it's and you're already judging my clothes. It looks like, well, we've got, we've got moths in our wardrobe. It's not moth eaten, it like... it's got fashionable holes. Oh dear. <laughs> I wonder if there's a prize for the most overdramatic garish shoes ever worn by any man in humanity ever, because <laughs> I think I would be in the running. <laughs> People are gonna see me coming. <laughs> I should probably better explain what's going on here. So, we are splitting a marathon between four of us. My uncle is running the first section, then he hands over to my dad, who runs the second section, then my dad hands over to my sister, who does the third section, and my sister hands over to me, who completes the journey and gets all of the glory and medals. And we're trying to do the entire marathon in four hours, under four hours, which is our goal. So we're at the beginning of the race, which is where my uncle, Russ, is going to be running from. So we're going to wait for him to leave, and then we're going to get the bus or a car or something to my bit, and then I'll have to wait around for like two or three hours for everyone to arrive. Good luck, don't die. Don't poo yourself, etc. Yes! <laughs> I might just run with them, I'll do the whole thing. <laughs> Bye! So I have to be crossing the finish line at 2pm 
if they want to get what they if they get what they want. So that's slightly terrifying. <laughs> Okay, so my uncle has now done his part. He got it in one hour and four minutes. My dad has to hit it in about 45 minutes to 50 minutes to stay on target, which is, I think that's doable. Let us find out. I found, I found the father. Yes, I made it. <laughs> Okay, so my sister's run ahead, and by the time she got there, my dad had already arrived. So we've wasted like 15 minutes uh, in the changeover period because we all got lost. So we were meant to be getting a lift to Katie's starting point. <laughs> and uh, it turned out our lift was not going to where we thought we were going. So we've now just had to join the marathon. <laughs> You're running to where you need to start running. <laughs> yeah. This is really, really tragic. <laughs> we're not meant to be here. <laughs> oh wait, no, 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 we need to be out there. Oh, run. <sighs> Hopefully, we'll be able to meet up with our mum, who will take Katie and me to the start line. So I don't know if we're going to hit our target of four hours anymore, which is really sad, but we can just take that 15 minutes off and have an unofficial time. Okay? Yes. He did his run, and now we are waiting for my sister to finish her run. My dad finished in 45 minutes and 15 seconds, which is a really, really good time. So well done. Good, good, good job, Daddy. Well done. I've got to do my run, <laughs> and I've already run today. This is not fair. Life's not fair. Life's not fair. Life's not fair. She's here, she's here. Go Katie, go Katie. Pat my hand. So my sister ran ahead and she was 15 minutes late for my dad, which means that her time was one hour 28 minutes. But if you take off the 15 minutes, it's actually one hour 13 minutes, unofficially, I guess. And now I am doing my runny thing. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey look, vegan runners. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm listening to my favourite podcast, so hopefully that will distract me. So I won't even realise I'm running. Oh. So apparently one seventh of the way there. One seventh. I can't even begin to hold my camera still, I'm sorry. It'll be just be like this the whole way. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Over one third there. Look at all these nice people come and say hi. Oh. <laughs> it's flashing people. But my spine is really sore. <laughs> Very specifically, my spine. Sore, oh. sore spine. Oh. Hopefully, I don't break my headphones by that. Oh my god. We must be near the end. We must be near the end. I've had like a half full. I've really hurt my ankle. I'm really sore. This one. This one. It's 400 meters to the end. 400 meters. My ankle's so sore. There's the end. I can see it. I can see. We did it! We did it! It's quite a good we did it! And that's pretty much how it's going for the rest of the idiots. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Oh. Thank you very much. Oh. Hey, my family have arrived. Well done. Oh. I, I can't. I can't. Well done, Luke. Okay, Katie, Katie, I need to tell you our time. Right. Hello. So, including the 15 minutes yeah. mess up, we got a time of three hours. 59 minutes and 55 seconds. Really? <laughs> Overall, we came 138th in the entire race, which actually I'm pretty proud of because there were some actual runners here, and we came 138. That is the end. It is the end, we did it, and now I really like running. I've become one of those running people now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit of a different thing this week, but I like trying new things. Gotta switch it up, switch it, switch it, switch it. If you wanna click here to watch another video I did, then please do, and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Good do, do you like trying new things? Smash that like button. Just smash that like button. <laughs> Give that, smash it. Let's get to 100,000 likes and Luke will take off his clothes. Yum.